there's this. You're you're like the poster boy for anxiety, aren't you? You're yeah. in this article. You you didn't write it, but you're I, quoted. I in got here. a phone call from Time Magazine. Yeah. Writer, and she says. <clears throat> uh, I'm paraphrasing, but it was basically I'm the go-to person That's right. about anxiety. But it's a switch on this article. It's how I can use anxiety in a positive way. Yeah, tell me about that. How do you do that? I lied to her. <laughs> the whole thing's you a lie. You said the anxiety's working? The whole working. thing's a scam from my point of view. I'm a wreck. No. It was more about the creative process for me. Yeah. And, and when I go on stage, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. So I, have, I have really have like hundreds of hours of stuff, and I don't like to have an act. I'm the act. If they don't like me, goodbye, get a dinner. Does that happen often? No. <laughs> that, that was a, mean, mean. <laughs> Illiterate, and they walk out on them. We'll be right back yeah, on our ever, second have segment. Have you ever worked the Catskills, you know, what happens if that you're That was bombing, the worst show of my life. Out. That was the yeah. worst show. Yeah. I, let me just uh, dig this. Yeah. No, no. I, I use anxiety to get to work myself up into a lather. So when I get on stage, it helps me. It turns me into a funnier guy. I see. Right, let's move on to the Concord. Okay, so what happened to but, you at the Concord? But it's a great article. Okay. And I'm also doing a... Oh, we'll talk about the sex in there because my wife's going to leave me. We'll talk about For, sex in the next yeah, segment. Yeah, because this, I'm a nutcase. Yeah. And then in, the, in Playboy, I'm a sex addict. Right. How, it's you. My wife has to be having it's an affair. It's that fabulous she pastiche that is Richard Lewis. Oh, look at you. You always try to throw in a little word so you can get some free Danish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just, I don't even know what that meant. Pastiche. You think I'm talking pastry. I know. It's all right. I'm an idiot. What? <laughs> Again, I'm an idiot. Now, what happened to you at the Concord? Did you die Yes, I, a week before, and I, this is a boast, and people, I sold out Carnegie Hall, got two standing ovations in two and a half hours, oh. okay? Yeah. You hear that, Pell? Was that you? No. Okay, go you ahead. You know what it was? It's, it, was it was a little bit of indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> so dig this. My agent says you, it's a lot of money. The conquest. I don't play the cat skills because it's not my audience. Yeah. Three. Right, they're Jewish. It's not because they're Jewish. <laughs> because it's great food, and there was three thousand people. Right. Okay. Right. Eating. Right. So, and I had to do sixty minutes. I had the big check in my back pocket. Yeah. I told the limo guy, and this is when, and I wasn't drunk. This is when I wasn't so. I've been sober almost eighteen years. Right. But back then, I brought a limo and a young actress and friends and champagne. I, went, I said, "Keep the limo ru running, because I'm going to be running out of here." Yeah. <laughs> and I, they introduced me as Richard Lewis to three thousand people. No one said not not one applause. Here's what I heard. Harry, I had, where's my pears? I don't have pears. I, give me that Danish. Give me that Danish. 3,000 people screaming over their entrees. So how so, did you do it? Here's what I did. I have 48 and a half minutes because I wanted that bread. Right. I wanted that bread. But here's what I learned from it. The, the owner of the, of the, I believe it was the Concord, yeah. very famous guy, right. he took pictures with me with all his cronies before the show. After the show, there was I didn't see him because I bobbed. I got not one laugh, but I did my sixty minutes. I think I heard about it. But were you the, crying? No, no, Someone no. Said you crying. Were crying. I was so <laughs> drunk after the show. But the son <laughs> sent me a bottle of champagne, which was fabulous. Oh. And he wrote with a note: "You can't be all things to all people," and that really meant a lot to me. I see. But and in this particular hammered. audience, you were no one to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> the way you describe it. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, say I don't no use one left. I only use Viagra after <laughs> I do a show with you. <laughs>